I make close to $3.5 million per month in revenue exclusively using Performance Max campaigns alone. And in this video, I'll show you the exact system we use with e-commerce brands to scale using Performance Max campaigns without going into the common pitfalls. And the crazy thing about this strategy is it works regardless of the niche or industry your brand is in. But key disclaimer, for any of this within this video to work, you already need to have a working PMAX campaign approach because if you don't, you are better off watching my other YouTube to videos on PMAX to get that approach going. But let's assume you already have a performance max campaign approach and it's crushing it and now you want to scale to the very next level. Now, one thing you want to understand before we get into any of these strategic levers you can pull with PMAX is your performance max campaign scale is only as good as your foundations. Let me repeat, your PMAX campaign scale is only as good as your foundations because I see so many brand owners, what they try to do is the moment a performance max campaign starts to do well, they start to go crazy with increasing the budgets, decreasing restrictions, and only to find out that their revenue is no longer following the budget increases and it's actually going down it's becoming unprofitable this is purely because anytime you scale a performance max campaign your foundation should be reaching a newer level a newer height as well because if it doesn't you're basically building your pillars on top of a foundation which is not built to support those pillars and that's when things come crashing down so your foundations are crucial with pmax scale now what are foundations exactly with performance max campaigns there are three major foundational pieces which you need to be improving as you scale the ad spend, as you scale your revenue. Number one is the product feed. Number two, landing page experience. And number three, your Google Merchant Center approach. And this is simply because a Performance Max campaign is a smart bidding based campaign. It's not a campaign where you have too many inputs. As a result, it relies on the inputs of data you give it in order to increase the output. So what that means is scaling with a PMAX starts from the ground level. And the first thing that we always like to do with performance max campaigns is to scale horizontally because there's two types of scaling strategies you can use with a pmax horizontal scaling and vertical scaling now for example if we go inside this performance max campaign this is the current winning approach for this where it's only one asset group with a bunch of different images logos headlines etc a few audience signals which have all been a b tested and i've proven to win because this pmax campaign right now is performing at roughly at 11x roi has made almost 200 $40,000 in revenue in just the last 30 days. But horizontal scale involves you essentially expanding the horizons of the PMAX campaign before you even go into actually scaling upwards through budgets, through revenue. What does this mean exactly? What I like to think of horizontal scale with Performance Max is essentially you want to think of two boundary lines surrounding your Performance Max campaign. The only way you can make that boundary and that road within that PMAX go faster is if you increase increase the size of that road going from maybe two lanes to five lanes, 10 lanes. How do you do this? You do this by opening the markets via more keywords. So the very first horizontal scaling strategy we use is to go inside the inside section and now this new section called the brand report, which I'll go over very shortly. But within the inside section, here's essentially what I'm looking for. I'm looking for number one, how our brand is doing compared to our competition in terms of impression share. Because the thing is, if your impression share is already at 70, 80, 90 percent, this horizontal scaling tactic is more important than ever before. But if this is kind of the initial scaling strategy you are implementing on your PMAX because it's more of a newer approach which just started doing well, you might see that your impression shares on the lower end. So even in that situation, horizontal scale is still what you should be implementing first. It's essentially the first phase. But what you want to be doing is within the keyword section, you want to be essentially opening up the view detailed report column right over here to look deeper into your search terms. And number one, identify cold traffic keywords, number one. And number two, which of these cold traffic keywords got you the most sales and at what CTRs? essentially the CTR number right here is very crucial because you would rather implement these keywords that have higher CTRs within your product feed the titles the descriptions etc versus those that are very low CTRs and it's purely because the ones with lower CTRs might not lead to the same level of revenue and skill as the ones with higher CTRs as we see right here in terms of the overall impressions that we're getting but essentially from here the first phase starts horizontal scaling where you're adding these keywords and replacing them with any keyword 
keywords within the back end which are either not converting or which are converting but at very low ROI levels or maybe even in the negative. You want to completely get rid of them from your feed to then leave room for those that are actually converting. And the easiest way is to open up these search terms reports right here, look at the individual keywords, what has a good amount of impression share, conversions, the CTRs, and then from there, pick and choose for the first approach with scaling. But in addition, once you have done your horizontal scale in terms of the keyword additions, optimizations to the back end, what you can also look at here is what types of specific categories of products are doing the best, such as, for example, the audience segments, what's getting the most clicks, what has the most impression share, because this lets you know which specific products and categories of products are doing better versus those which aren't. This allows you to then focus your PMAX approaches in terms of the product strategy, the segmentation, etc., based around only those segments which are actually performing better. But from here, then what you want to do is go on over to the brand report. And within the brand report, if you have any types of video demand gen display and app campaign results, they're going to be shown in the brand reports right here. If you don't, they're essentially not going to be shown like we see in this situation. But regardless of what you see here, the main key thing with horizontal scale is essentially adding into the insights and adding in those keywords that are winning into the back end. But in addition, what you then want to be doing is within the asset group section, this is where second level of horizontal scale can be introduced. Now, what most brands do is they find one winning asset group strategy and that's all they use and they run with it. But the key is you want to treat the asset group section as, as you would the Facebook ads ad copy section where essentially you can have one ad copy in there. You could have three, five, 10, of course, whatever your budget permits. Same situation here. Instead of having just one asset group here, you can have maybe two, maybe three in here. And the main goal here is to A-B test specific things. So for instance, if I were to launch an A-B testing approach here for horizontal scale, I would keep all of these images, logos, videos, headlines, etc., all the same. And the only change I would make is specifically within the audience signal section or within the search theme section and the reason why we're keeping everything else the same besides one specific key factor is because we want to a b test based on that key factor to see if that one individual change either improves our results keeps them the same or decreases them because then over time we can build on top of whatever is working and this is introducing horizontal skill because now if we let's say change in the audience signals or search themes it's going to go towards a completely different pocket of the audience versus what is going with right now this is the first phase of scaling this is where you start scaling your performance max campaigns because what happens here is once you do this you are now opening up the market for more keywords and by the way you can do this with search campaigns as well and everything else essentially but the third major way to horizontal scale with pmax is to go within your products and add more products and it's that simple adding in complementary products if you don't have too many skews to begin with you can add in bundles you can add in variations and so on and so forth to increase the number of skews because what most brand owners don't realize and this is something i found out after talking with so many seven eight nine figure brands out of my agency or marketing which by the way if you run a brand making fifty thousand dollars or more per month in revenue you need extra help scaling to the next level with google ads go on to my website at yourmarketing.com schedule a complete free call with me and let's see how we can potentially work together and make that happen but what these brands don't realize is the more SKUs you have the more entry points you have within any given google ads auction especially via pmax so think of it like within shopping placements for example if we go on shopping right now just type in any random keyword like 3d printer these six different placements of products we see here all six of this within the millisecond that it took to make this search come up went inside an auction and these six won the auctions that's why they're basically taking up these places right here but here's a key thing you don't want just one out of six chances to win within these six different placements rather you want two out of six chances or three or four or five as many as you can simply because the more times your products appear here the more chances of somebody clicking on the first product, if they don't like it, then they'll click on the third one. If they don't like that, they'll click on the sixth one, so on and so forth. There's just more chances for you to sell any given product, which is the key with performance max campaign skill with horizontal skills. So let's assume you have done these horizontal scaling tactics through the first phase. How do you proceed then to scaling? Well, after this point, after about three, seven, 14 days, you should see a very beautiful thing start to happen where now you either have limited by budget sign coming up within your PMAX campaign or your PMAX campaign is naturally spending at or above your daily budgets. In that situation, now you know it's time to scale to the next level in terms of the ad spend. This is phase two, which is vertical scaling. Now, there are two ways to go about vertical scaling. The first way is by playing around with your budgets and the second way is by playing around with your bidding restrictions. Let's go with over the easiest 
one, which is budget changes. Now, the easiest budget change you can make within a PMAX is to change the budgets every three to seven days by roughly 15% to 25% max. Anything above and you risk basically resetting the learning phase entirely and putting the campaign in a big negative ROI level. And anything too low and you risk not taking advantage of your current momentum and scaling fast enough. So 20% is maximum, 20 to 25 ideally. But any in situations like this where it's $2,000 in total budget, what I would do is I would maybe scale it by $400 to $500 because that's roughly 20 to 25%. And that's where my peak would be. Every three to seven days, that's what I would be looking to increase the budget at for that campaign. Considering the fact that it is reaching the daily spend and it's exceeding it on some situations. That's the key thing there. And you only want to reward the campaign with spend if the ROI is there. If it's not there, at least 20% minimum above the ROI levels you want to be at, you don't scale spend period. You only focus on the bidding restrictions, which is the next situation here, where in terms of ROI changes and target ROAS target CPA changes, again, every three to seven days, you can be either increasing the target ROAS restrictions if it's not where you want it to be by about five to 10% or decreasing it if it's already at the level you want it to be at. And you're fine running with a smaller or a lower ROAS target. So for example, it's at 1100%. If it's already performing well at that level, we can then go maybe 10% less or maybe 15% less in this situation maybe make it a thousand percent ROAS and every three to seven days we would switch between phase two and phase one where after I make this change then I would wait three to seven days go back to horizontal scaling make those keyword changes as needed if there's no keyword changes needed in that situation then go back to phase two scale vertically either the budgets or the ROAS so on and so forth every three to seven days so the thing you want to understand about scaling Pmax is it's this little dance between this phase one and phase two where in some situations, every 14 days, you might be focused more on the keywords, the back end, because that needs to evolve as you scale the PMAX. And phase two is where you're purely focused on the budgets, the restrictions, etc., increasing them, decreasing them, and punishing the algorithm when it's doing bad, rewarding the algorithm when it's doing good for that PMAX campaign. And as you build these two feeling phases within your PMAX campaign, you will notice they naturally not only increase the ad spend, but also the revenue on the row has stays stable or increases even as you scale up the budget and the ad spend, because that's the crucial thing so many brands miss out on, which if you run a brand making 50K or more per month in revenue, you need some extra help scaling to the next level with Google Ads, go on to my website at yourmarketing.com, schedule a completely free call with me, and let's see how we can potentially work together and make that happen.